So a lot can happen in 10 years, and it's kind of strange to believe it's been a cool decade since Apple took the wraps off the OG iPhone. In fact, some of you guys may have never even been around when the iPhone first came out, never had one, never seen one. We did a whole retrospective on that phone. We'll link to it down below. But what I couldn't show you at the time was what the shipping OS looked like on that first phone because Apple updated it very quickly after shipping. The smartphone world has changed like a crazy amount in the past 10 years. Uh, and certainly Apple's at the stage for what Android was going to be and sort of reset the table for how we use smartphones. So I wanted to take a look back at the very first operating system that launched on the iPhone. I thought about doing some dramatic intro about it being a simpler time in 2007, but it, it really wasn't. It was complicated in its own right. Most people had Blackberry phones, some had Windows Mobile, but mostly people just had flip phones. And then Apple had been rumored to making a phone for years, unveiled the iPhone. And it brought with it a ton of really cool stuff and a lot of things we hadn't really seen before, at least not seen all of these things together in one device. First, it was a widescreen iPod with touch controls. It brought visual voicemail, which is something that was really new to people. Multi-touch gestures, at least for me, was something that was like crazy to actually see. We take it for granted now. Being able to pinch to zoom on pictures was insane. I remember showing my grandmother when I brought the original iPhone to her house, pinch to zoom, and like her brain just like fell on the floor and melted. Uh, it also brought things like HTML, email, Safari, web browser, threaded text messaging, and a YouTube app and Google Maps. That was back when Apple and Google were still BFF and, and going out to dinner and having dates all the time. So you're probably asking yourself, all right, John, yeah, we know this. What's different about iOS 1.0? Well, check out that calculator app interface. Apple got super sued for ripping off uh, another calculator look. And also unique to iPhone OS 1.0 was a really basic, super slow camera app that Apple subsequently fixed in later versions of iPhone OS. This version of the phone is so rare, it's actually signed by Waz on the back. So now that we know where we started, let me give you a history of how we got to where we are. In 2008, we saw iPhone OS 2.0, and that brought with it the App Store, which I don't have to tell you how much that changed things. 2009 saw iPhone OS 3, which you're finally gifted with cut, copy, and paste, as well as Spotlight, voice controls, and finally, MMS. Fast forward to 2010, the name scheme changed, and iOS 4.0 was born. The iPhone and iPad now received multitasking folders and FaceTime. 2011 was when Siri was finally born into the world along with iOS 5.0. We also got Notification Center and iMessage. So getting a little more modern now in 2012, iOS 6 came along and Apple and Google famously got divorced and ditched Google Maps for Apple Maps. We all know how well that went originally. 2013, iOS 7 came along and the look and feel of iOS changed. They ditched the skeuomorphic design for Johnny Ive inspired flat design. They also brought Control Center, AirDrop was introduced in iOS 7. Also, we got a new camera app, multitasking and FaceTime received a ton of improvements. 2014 brought along iOS 8. There were some pretty big improvements there. Things like continuity, widgets, third-party keyboards, and HomeKit. In 2015, iOS 9 brought along things like low power battery mode, context-aware Siri, and some iPad improvements as well, like picture in picture and split view. And I probably don't, don't spend that much time telling you what 2016 brought with iOS 10, but we got things like improved the iMessage platform that included its own app store and various animation effects. Siri and Maps got big time improvements, the ability to open apps and better transit directions. Other things we got were like Race to Wake, Rich Notifications, Apple News, redesigned Apple Music, and a redesigned lock screen. Was there any one of these OS's that was your favorite? When you, which point did you jump on to iOS or which point did you leave iOS? Leave in the comments down below. And speaking of comments, let me jump back to comments of the day. So this comes from our new Mac Pro and iMac finally coming. And it comes from Crop RC, who says the new Mac Pro is just a PC tower, LOL. I kind of thought that too when Apple said they were gonna make their Mac Pro modular. I mean, pretty much every tower PC is, is modular. Even the pre-trash can Mac Pro is modular. You can pop stuff into it. So do you guys remember what was called iPhone OS at the time? What was your favorite feature or lack of? Give the video a thumbs up, we appreciate it. Until next time, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.